Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to take a look at the Jelly Bam ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2 GDI9100. So I'm going to teach you guys how to install it successfully and I'll be providing all the links, the download links, the instructional guide on wiredmash.com and in the video description below. So stay tuned for all of that. Hey guys, what's up? So first things first, we've got to download the Jelly Bam uh, ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2 GDI9100. The current version right now is version 8.3 and it has a size of 300, 305 megabytes. And it was released last June 28th. So as usual, I always um, download it onto the desktop. So of course, we've got to first connect our Samsung Galaxy S2 GDI9100, that's international variant, connected via micro USB and as you can see it's connected and we're going to copy the Jelly Beam, Jelly, sorry, Jelly Bam uh, ROM, which is about 305 megabytes again, into the SD card. So give it a few seconds to fully copy and I'll be back once it's done. So once it's done copying, of course, you have to switch off your Samsung Galaxy S2 device and we have to, pop, we have to head into recovery mode and that can be easily uh, activated or you can easily enter recovery mode simply by, by pressing volume up, uh, the home button and the power button all at once for 10 seconds. So we're going to do that right now. I'm going to press the volume up, home button and power button for 10 seconds or so. And as you can see, it's rooted. Of course, you've got to have a rooted Samsung Galaxy S2. And then the boot screen should uh, flash twice, meaning that it's gonna about to enter uh, recovery mode. So as you, as you can see, I'm using the CF kernel. So we're gonna do a wipe data factory reset. This is recommended prior to installing a new ROM or a new firmware every time. And uh, so that there won't be any issues, we're going to do a wipe cache partition also. Yes, wipe cache. And then we're going to head over to install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. And we're going to select Jelly Bam version 8.3. Yes, install. And give this a couple of minutes. It, since it's a 305 megabyte file, this might take some time to install. So I'll be back once it's done. Uh, installing. So it's finally done installing. We have to head back to the main menu and we're going to do a wipe data factory reset once again just to make sure that there won't be anything going or any, won't, there won't be any issues happening after the installation or the first boot up. We're going to do a wipe cache partition again and that's done. We're going to reboot system now. And of course since this is going to be the one of the first uh, few boots this would probably take quite some time to boot up so give it five to ten minutes at most and let's see how it's going to be we should be getting uh there we go we've got a different uh, boot up sequence here with the jelly <laughs> that's pretty funny actually cool actually this is one of the most interesting boot up sequences i've seen from a custom roam looks pretty cool so again give this five to ten minutes to boot up and i'll be back once it's fully booted up so after roughly about three minutes of its initial boot up, we finally hear on the welcome uh, screen, the, the setup screen. So we're going to click start. Of course, we don't have a SIM card right now. I'm going to skip this. Skip anyway. Next. Next. Philippine time. Next. Next. So click finish and it should be presenting the home screen of the Jelly Bam ROM. There you go. Cool looking uh, wallpaper of course. It's got some perhaps some custom widgets here. And as you can see the animations are, are quite um, different compared to Samsung's TouchWiz of course. Let's check out the settings. Where settings? I've got a different icon for settings. 
And of course, you've got here the, the ROM customization, BAM control, BAM mother. So there are a lot of um, advanced features to this ROM, which I'll be checking out later on in the week, and I'll be providing a full review of the Jelly BAM ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S with GDI 9100 later on in the week, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, I can see about phone 4.2.2, of course. AOKP, build 6, about Jelly BAM. And yeah, that's basically about it in regards to the installation guide of the Jelly BAM for the Samsung Galaxy S2. So if you've got any questions, any queries, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. And if you've got any ROM requests, feel free to post them also, and I'll definitely take a look at it. And um, yeah, that's basically about it. So don't forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe to Wired Mash, don't forget to visit wiredmash.com, and most of all, thanks for watching.